Residents in a few Shawnee neighborhoods are concerned about the possibility of a new private school. They're worried about noise, traffic, and what may happen to their property values. Photo and Extra reporter Emma James tells us what the school has to say about their concerns. This 27 acres of land is the proposed spot for the Maranatha Christian Academy. Some neighbors tell me they're frustrated. They don't feel the city or the school gave them enough notice about the project or allowed them enough time to give their input before the actual planning stages started. Willow Ridge HOA Vice President Darius Riley feels Maranatha only reached out to residents to set up HOA meetings after hearing they brought up concerns with the city. Maranatha could have done a much better job and the city could have much done a much better job of letting the area and the residents around the area know what was going to happen there before it was already at the planning stages and it already had a tax abatement done on it. Riley says the school first notified residents of the project a few days before a planning commission public hearing. Head of schools Janet Fogg tells me the school worked to be forthcoming with residents, but it never knew when the planning commission meeting would be because of delays from the coronavirus pandemic. We didn't even know for sure when that date was going to be. And so we honestly thought we had done a pretty good job to get all three meetings in before that planning commission day. So I am sorry that they felt that way. We were really trying very much for it to feel the opposite. Residents say their main concern is traffic, especially since there's another school nearby and a new retirement home. We'd love to see a development, okay? But again, you know, something this large with the, the possibility of so much traffic is so much uh, noise. Uh, is kind of concerning. Fogg says the school showed residents this traffic plan that will be within the school's land for pickup and drop off times. So it won't flow out onto the other streets. Um, and we it was built that way by our architect specifically so it would not back up the other streets. She wants residents to know the school wants to be a good neighbor and its students will help enhance the area. And tonight, the Shawnee City Council will vote whether or not to approve the rezoning of the land since some of it is zoned for different things. It'll also vote whether or not to approve the special use permit for the athletic stadium. In Shawnee, Emma James, 41 Action News. We should mention we made repeated requests for interviews with Shawnee City officials, but we were told no one was available to speak today.